It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1713, recorded Thursday, February 7th, 2019. This show is magnetic. On this episode of the Gizwiz, we got some CES leftovers. Don't worry, they heat up perfectly in the microwave. We also have a great buy from Jovi and my crappy corner all next on the giz Wins. it's the same dumb show with dickie d and omg chat on your pc it's time for the giz Wins because gadgets are his business they've got a gizmo sickness geek disease under pathology rows and rows of usbs growing growing leds get ready for the giz Wins now 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 and here he is the actual ringleader of cats, Dick D. Bartolo, <laughs> uh, and gadgets, cats and, and gadgets. Uh, how Catch you doing, Dick D? I'm good. How about you? Doing good myself, other than Skype woes. Oh my gosh! You been... know, how do you how do you get rid of the contact uh, thing now? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Okay, yeah, it, it's um, it's Skype. This week has made it. Im- it Skype like will not start. Thing. They said, you want to use Skype? You better update. Yeah. That's Otherwise, it. we're Skype uninstalling. Skype will not start. It said, you cannot use Skype unless you update. So I updated. Uh, Chad knew how to get me out. Suddenly, I had split screen, which is a new thing now where. Yeah, I can show it to you. And then I'll. Oh, yeah, 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 I'll, exactly. Here. Because this is our return video right up here. In yes, the corner. up there. Can't right. get rid of it for the life of me. You can drag it onto. And now you have. Oh, no, it didn't work. It goes back. Split screen. There he goes. And now, oh, of course, is. this is yeah. weird because we're sending video of video to Dick. So you have to click that video and then send it back up to the corner. Anyway. <laughs> so now. For, before you guys email and say, there's a itty bitty little picture of Dick <laughs> up in the corner whenever you go to his, his, uh, his shot. That's why. Because Skype won't allow me to minimize the thing. I'm worried about my cat. What are you doing? Get, get down. He's having there. a great time up there. I said, what can I knock off? <laughs> he goes, you know your prize magazine? Your, your, <laughs> your mad magazine that you're in, the Dickie D sign. Let me just knock that over. Um, so, yeah, other than that, uh, for me, it hasn't been that crazy of a week. Not, not too much has changed. Uh, with me, uh, the Skype thing is driving me crazy. Uh, because I wanted to adjust the camera and I thought, you know, what, let me just see if Logitech has done anything. And I discovered something new that maybe it's in beta because I, don't, I haven't seen it anywhere. I just having to stumble on this website uh, and it's called Skype Capture. Oh, so hmm. Skype. Do you know about it? No, I haven't heard of it. OK, go to I, uh, I sent you a link to it uh, in an email just earlier. It's called Skype Capture. And what it is, is like a mini version of a a control room. So you can pick two sources, switch back and forth between them. Hmm. You can super yourself over another screen. And you can adjust your camera within Skype. Interesting. And so when you go to Skype and the drop now, it only works. And, and Chad's going to send me, he has a spare. It only works with the 920, the 922, and the Brio. You have a Brio yeah. too, right? Uh, I right. have a Brio on my other computer. Right now we're using yeah. okay. 922s on everything. Yeah. Okay. So it only works with the three newest cameras. And... You can switch between cameras. You can do split screen. You can do a lot of things that like open broadcast does. But uh, one or two complaints was it's not sophisticated enough. But for me, it's Logitech uh, capture. It's it's Logitech. It's Logitech capture. Exactly. That's what uh, that's what it's called. And then when you go into Mm. camera, instead of picking camera, you pick L-O-G-I. And that brings up this software. And then while you're mm. in Skype, you can be adjusting your camera. Interesting. Uh, and it's free. Yeah. Looks good. And so Chad's going to send me uh, one of his spare 922s. 
and then I will be able to see how it works. Yeah, luckily, uh, I have a lot. I have the, the three that we're using for the Gizwiz. Those are 922s. I have three extra 922s, and then I have oh, a, another 920, and then I have a whole bunch of like C, uh, like 520, I think was a few of those. I got yeah, I, webcams I, out the ears. <laughs> well, I'll take a 922. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, so, I'd like to uh, see how this works. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what I did most of the week was playing with, uh, and then I found another website. Maybe you, do you know about useabenchmark.com? I've heard of this. Yes. I, because, uh, I was looking at a friend's, uh, PC build and wondering, okay, what's the difference between the, you know, GTX or I guess it's, it's not GTX anymore, but anyway, the NVIDIA 2070 versus the GTX 1080, you know, like two different graphics cards, you put them together. And it's a whole bunch of people who have done their own bitch marks that you can like compare. Yeah. So I have an old uh, Acer and a new Lenovo. And the old Acer I went to because I was just doing one camera and switching between the one camera. Oh, when you download this new Logitech uh, 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 web browser, not web browser, this new uh, software, it says you have to erase all your other Logitech software. Uh, <laughs> oh. And I... <laughs> Okay. And I didn't want to do it on the main computer that I use. So I did it on an old Acer. And then it was saying, uh, this computer is not good enough to use 1080p. So I reduce it to 720. This computer is not good enough for 720p. Oh, my gosh. I reduce it down to 4. What is the next one? 420. Yeah, 420. So your computer is not 40. strong. Oh I went gosh. down to 360. Your computer is not going to go, what is what? So I, that's when I found out I uh, use a benchmark. And this old computer says, uh, ability to do gaming, 15%. <laughs> <laughs> Use, using as a desktop, 51%. As a workstation, 36%. Uh, oh <laughs> so then I, I went to my new Lenovo, um, and it says, uh, gaming, 67%. That's using fair. as a desktop, 73%. Uh, it said your NVIDIA card is good for graphics, including 3D. So, <laughs> yeah, so once I'm I get glad you're not stuck to 2D gaming. That, that'd yes, be exactly. Shame. Exactly. So once I get uh, the second camera, I'll install it on this computer and theoretically it should Very work. Nice. It, it looks yeah. a lot like uh, a user friendly version of what I use to switch the show called OBS. Exactly. You know, OBS, I'm, I have obviously three webcams uh, running, but I'll be honest, it's not super user friendly. It's uh, it's a little can be a little complicated and finicky. Yeah. I even I even bought two years of XSplit and got <laughs> yeah. got lost using that. Yeah, XSplit's the same sort of right. situation. So when I read the review and the guy said, "Well, this is very bare bones basic." I thought, "That yes, me. <laughs> yes, me, that's me. what I need." Yes. Exactly. Yeah. It's pretty good. Uh, Anyway. Perfect. Okay, well, let's jump into some gadgets. Yeah, let's jump into the show. Okay, so, uh, well, the, my, actually, my video explains the whole uh, thing and what I did about it and what you can do about it uh, at least as of one hour ago. Perfect. Here it is. Recently, I bought an Amazon Fire tablet, the little 8-inch guy, and I'm actually going to use it down on my boat to uh, watch videos, okay? So my boat is small, so on my boat, this will look like a giant TV set. <laughs> um, so I have a lot of little phone stands, but the tablet's too big for the phone stand, so it, it can't even fit in them and it falls over. So I thought, you know, one day soon, I have to buy something to hold the tablet, and I get an email from B&H Photo that they have the Joby... Riptite micro stand for smaller tablets. Okay, you know Joby, they make they make every conceivable gadget to hold phones and tablets. So this is the uh, micro stand, and this is what it looks like. Let's see how it works. Okay, that so that clips up, and that clips up. Then it comes with one of these, and the first time you see it, you go, "What?" What in the world is that? What the heck is it? So this is a little tripod with a standard screw on, on the uh, bottom. 
And all right, this has a screw here. Uh, just turn that in here. So that gives you a secure stand and it's on a little roller ball too, so that you can. And then I didn't see uh, if they gave a dimension. This is the eight inch uh, Amazon Fire tablet. Stretchy, stretchy. Oh, that's fine, actually. Um, I'll turn it around that way. See, this is gonna be great for uh, holding something. And as I said, it has a certain amount of tilt in it. Uh, 36 so degrees of tilt. In the boat. Uh, so I like this, but what was amazing was the price. And let's say I recorded this. What is today's date? February 5th. It's still on sale when I checked. And look at the prices here. Uh, Joby Grip Tight Micro Stand for smaller tablets. Look at this. It was seven bucks, seven ninety five at BH Photo. Here in the city, there was uh, like a buck fifty tax. Uh, eBay was fourteen fifty. But look at this New Egg, thirty five dollars. Odorama, fifty bucks. So this is a heck of a buy. And you know, I think I found it up on Amazon too. Let me just look. And on Amazon. Uh, still 13 bucks. So 795 is a heck of a deal. And this little tripod thing can be used on anything that has a tripod socket. So that's worth it. Uh, this kind of thing alone, I think, sells for uh, 10 or 12 bucks. So a great deal. That's it. The Joby Grip Tight uh, Micro Stand for Smaller Tablets. Those are awesome. I've ha I used one for uh, my phone and loved it. It's I love that little. It, it folds down so nicely. Yes, it's this, easy yes, to throw this around. is it. And you know, I just saw it online for thirty bucks. Yeah, it's like, and you get it. And, and uh, BH Photo uh, said this item ships for free, <laughs> and I checked an hour ago. And it's Why still seven ninety five. And I assume if you live outside of the city, I guess there'll be no tax. Yeah. Uh, so you so you get this guy, which as I said, I saw was thirty bucks on one website. That opens up what Chad was talking about into a tripod. Uh, and then you get the thing for tablets. It's so really funny. there. Yeah, it's still there. <laughs> seven ninety five. Yeah. And and I've used one so similar. It's I think it's a little bit smaller for a phone. It was great. Um, I, I I hope that the tripod is wide enough to withstand withstand the the seven seas and how rough it must yes, be yes. on the boat. Uh, uh, we'll we'll find out. <laughs> exactly. We'll find out. Uh, but it has rubber tips on it, so it it shouldn't slide. Yeah, it's it stays but it pretty could, well. It could go flying. Yeah. If a if a big fairy weight goes by or something. But uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, I needed a tablet holder, and suddenly someone at D&H &H said, send this out. Get this yeah. guy. A yeah. You could have just walked over there and, and bought it. You I, didn't I, even I, need it shipped. I'm I so jealous have. of that. I have been to I, New York three times and put it on like the need to do list is to make it over to B and H photo still have not made my way over to B and H. Oh photo. yeah. It, it's a fun oh, yeah. place. And they, they, they didn't do it this year, but at CE week, they, the night before a uh, CE week, they opened it to the press for three hours with no one in the store except the press. And, uh, it's a monstrous store. It's a block long. And uh, they, they, they have a film department. I mean, they have everything. You thought there was no film? A lot of people are still making film. Uh, so anyway, that's fun. The Joby Grip Tight Micro Stand for smaller tablets. Love it. Uh, and then going back to CES, it doesn't matter that we haven't shown this yet because it's not coming out till summer or later. We found something new from my charge. Probably one of our favorite gadgets of the Yes, this uh, is pretty neat. Event. Pretty yeah. neat. Here we go. Hey, we're at my charge at Showstoppers and something different. And with Katie is going to tell me why this looks like it has LED lights on it. Because our newest power bank is not only a power bank, but also a flashlight that has 
four different brightness levels, all wait, with different. <laughs> oh my! It's blinding. <laughs> oh my! Uh, you know, ladies and gentlemen, I don't even know where the camera is, but Chad is here. <laughs> and I said, can I do one by myself? And Chad said, oh, yeah. And now he's not only interrupting, he's got a bigger one. Oh, okay. So tell us about both. So tell me about the little one first. So the little one is 6,000 milliamps. It has two USB-A outports, so we can charge two devices at a time. And it has four different brightness levels, so you can control how bright it is. The runtime of the light is dependent on the brightness level. The brighter the light, the shorter the runtime. So the highest level for this one is going to be 510 lumens for a runtime of nine hours. Now show us what you're talking about for bright. Yes. Because this is amazing. Because we're not just saying bright, we're meaning we bright. We mean bright. Exactly. <laughs> level one. Low. You can also change the color. One. Two. Two. Two, three. three. Uh, 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 oh, there's four. Okay. And also now, Chad, I, we have to give him some credit. <laughs> found out that if you hold the button in, you can actually get it into a different warmth level. So it goes from... Uh, Chad's from like for something. He's not just behind the lens. <laughs> yes, yeah. Chad is giving up Minecraft to work for my charge behind the counter as a spokesperson. Um, and and what was the one that's the brightest? 510 on oh, this okay. model. Now the, the big one that Chad is holding. Yes. So the big one, the 20,000 milliamp, can get up to 630 lumens for a runtime of 16 hours. So we're talking more than half of a day. That is amazing. And that also can charge two devices. Right. We also have two USB-A ports that can charge two devices at the same okay. time. And now the price point? To be determined. Coming to here. be determined. OK. This is really great. Uh, my charge, uh, when are they coming out? Keep your eyes peeled in the next few months, and you'll hear some exciting announcements about where to find them and the exact release date. Uh, oh, okay, very good. They might be out for summer. Yeah. It, for camping, for camping, these would be just ideal. Um, we're at Showstoppers 2019, and uh, wrecking the entire spot. Chad Johnson behind the camera, <laughs> and yeah. Josh saying, "Chad, that's my camera. Can I do it once in a while?" <laughs> Bye. So we loved Bye. these. Because, uh, first of all, I mean, you could seriously tell a big difference between the first time you see yourself on video. I'll, I'll play just the beginning again uh, with no, no audio. That's without the light. And then when I do my little joke of adding the light in, you can tell there's a big difference. I mean, it really does add some nice studio quality lighting um, to, the, to, to the shot. I mean, I would love that. See, there's the, there's the there difference. I mean... That's really, really nice. Um, now, were you? It, it does daylight and yes, and tungsten. So tung and tungsten. tungsten is like the normal, like you know, uh, lights you'd have in your kitchen and, and that sort of stuff. Uh, yeah, and daylight would be more blue. Um, yeah, so like fifty-five thousand Kelvin versus forty-five thousand Kelvin or, or whatever. Um, it didn't say exactly which what what the exact color temperature is if you wanted to like use it in a studio setting. Um, but having multiple levels of light, super awesome. Um, one thing is that it didn't look like it had any, have any tripod mount. So if you were, if you're hoping to use this only in a studio setting, um, it, you'd have to basically hold it. You couldn't mount it to the top of a camera or anything like that. But I don't think that's really what it was aimed for. It was for camping, for having it in, in your backpack to use as a battery as well. Taking amazing selfies with it, um, was really what, it seemed like they were marketing it for. So I I really, really hope that maybe they send us one or maybe I'll have to go buy one because those are awesome. Really. Uh, awesome. Actually, I, I spoke to them today and they, they said that the price is still undetermined, but cool. it's in Q2 uh, or 3, which means anywhere between June and October, they will be uh, along. And I'm sure they'll send us one to... Yeah. Uh, and a Beatmaster says build a softbox around it. And that was one of the things that was kind of nice for the quick run and gun light situation is it already had very soft light. That thing was very diffuse. Uh, yeah, nice diffuser on yeah, it, it built very, into it. Yeah, it was very, very diffuse. Um, so 
uh, it's already kind of set up for, for that. Um, and then on top of that, it has the battery built in, so you can charge uh, the normal USB-A, the square USB um, devices with it, which everyone has tons of tons of those. Uh, yeah. Yeah. My charge LED battery. Thanks, my charge. Exactly. And then uh, I found the June oven. Did, were you at Twit when Leo got his June oven? I, did, I right? wasn't. Did the... I wasn't. Okay. Uh, but I did. I did overhear him getting the June oven, and everyone made fun of him. Oh my god! Thought it was the dumbest thing. <laughs> Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's see. I agree. Let's see what's new with and that. I'll give you my updated impressions on it after oh, the video. Oh, okay, very good. Okay. Oop, in your muted. Show. Well, he bragged about this June oven that did everything. It took pictures of you. It showed you eating your... No, it did none of that. But anyway, there's a new version. Is it better than what Leo had? Huh, now you're putting me on the spot. But we, we've stopped. He won't watch this. <laughs> so this is the second generation June oven, and it's uh, five ninety nine, and we're very excited about it. Oh my gosh! So tell us for people who and actually I've never seen it in person. So tell me about it too. Sure. So the June is a seven in one appliance, so you can bake, air fry, broil, roast, and we're constantly adding new appliances and new cook programs all the time. So it's the first appliance that gets better over time instead of worse. When you say adding a new appliance, you, you mean uh, another thing that the, this one appliance can do? Exactly. I mean, it, it can't iron. So we're literally able to build new features and, and in software. So an example of that was when we launched, we didn't have an air fryer. So when Leo bought his oven, there was no air fryer, there was no dehydrator, but he has it now. It's on the Gen 1 oven too. And so we're literally able to build new appliances in software. Oh, okay. So it's retro going to his oven because it's internet connected? Yes. Exactly. And so a lot of the magic of the June is we're able to run our automated cook programs that have been trained by a professional chef. So everything from our bacon program to our steak program. So the steak program will ask you, do you want it medium rare? How would you like it? Remember your preference from last time. And then it's just one tap. Is there still a camera in it? There is. Okay. So let me, let me show you what it can do with it. So my co-founder, Nikhil, was actually the first camera engineer on the iPhone. So he's in the patents for Panorama, Tap to Focus, he worked on FaceTime, face detection. And so I'm gonna take this asparagus here. Okay. Normal asparagus. Real asparagus. Real asparagus. Real. Okay. It wasn't styrofoam. And I put it in and we show our two best guesses. So we either think it's asparagus or green beans. And even if we're 99% confident that it's asparagus, we show both because we want that training data. So tap asparagus, tap roast, and we do all of our automated cook programs with no preheat. So now it's running a four-step, multi-step cook program on this asparagus, and our carbon fiber heating elements, they're full power in three seconds. Oh my gosh. So that's gonna be done in 12 minutes. Oh, well, well, well we can cancel it out. Now, the new model, uh, is it out now? It's out now, shipping in three weeks. In three weeks? Yes, we, we, uh, we sold out right before the holidays, and then we're back in stock in three weeks. Price is five ninety nine. Five ninety nine. And is it your website only, or stores, or? Uh, right now, it's just Juneoven.com. Juneoven.com. I think that's really great. I like it. The keyboard told the man's medicine writer and the Gizwiz one take data here at Gizwiz.tv. The new one, you're going to be able to watch the Gizwiz show on the oven door. <laughs> that's Gen at least three. that's what I'm trying to sell them. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> so. Um, so, so we I should say Leo paid fifteen hundred. Yeah, fifteen hundred. No thanks. Uh, uh not <laughs> not not interested. But at five ninety nine, I actually got to say I'm much more intrigued. Way more intrigued because I've seen the air fryers. You know, those are a hundred bucks. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, instant pot. That's a hundred bucks. Um, you want a toaster oven? Well, you probably get a toaster oven for like thirty bucks. Um, but with all that smarts built in. And it has like a touch screen on the, on the front of it. It has a camera inside. I'm, I, if, if I was, it, it, it'd have to be a little bit of a specific situation for me to want to absolutely purchase one. But if I was in an apartment, um, which ha it had very limited space, um, and I, you know, wanted to cook for one, I could really see this being something that I would 
absolutely want. Yeah. And don't it, forget with the app, you can look into the oven. Right. Right. While you're sitting on the couch, if it's cooking something and you go, you know, maybe I don't want it cooked the way they want it. Let me just see what it looks like right now. I might take it out. So you can, you know, remote control the oven and see what it's doing yeah. through the camera. I, I, I saw them there and, origin, and, and immediately went back to what I thought when Leo got his $1,500 oven. Was, <laughs> ah, June's here, oh my gosh. But after seeing it, after playing around with it, after uh, you know, ha having the demo done, I was, I was sold. Um, now, Captain, G there's a whole bunch of people in the chat that are saying this is still, this is crazy. You can get a four slice toaster oven <laughs> for 23 bucks. I got a 45, uh, Captain J is saying, I got a $45 microwave from a that has Alexa built in where you just tell it what you want it to cook and it'll search the database and figure it all out for you and, and microwave whatever you want. Um, and but yeah. if you put your drop cam in that oven, Captain J, <laughs> what it it's work? gonna ruin your meal <laughs> and your drop cam. Yeah, definitely. So uh, I'm still I'm I'm not 100 percent sold. Oh, I guess I, I I I'm sold on it now. I'm not gonna run out and buy one, but I don't think it was the laughable product that it was. Uh, this is a serious product. I could absolutely oh, yeah, no, see I... people buying this. Um, it looked and felt amazing, um, and possibly if I get a big bonus in the future, maybe I'd be picking up a June, uh, cause it'll, you it'll know what, nice. if they got together with Foldy Mate, <laughs> you would really have it something. everything, it cook everything. your meals in the morning, fold your clothes at night. It's an all in one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like it. Okay, we're, we're, um, we'll see. We'll I mean, it's not super outside the realm of, of other things in the kitchen, too. Um, in the Twitch chat, Crispy Bacon saying, I, my Breville toaster oven is 150 oh, bucks. I was just going to say, yes, Breville. It's like, yes. Breville makes I, I, very nice stuff. It's expensive. Expensive, yeah. you know, nice kitchen gadgets are expensive. That's just yeah, the yeah. truth of no, it. I, 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 I agree. A, I agree. I mean, so. that's a heck of a price drop. Yeah, of, big time. Of nine hundred dollars. Big time. Big um, time. Anyway, so uh, Juneoven.com. Oh, and now, oh my gosh, it's February. Ring the bell. Ding 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 ding. It is time. February. Yo, yo, to head yeah. back to. Oops. Crappy Rock. corner. No. Get it. Oh, you're not a crappy gadget, kitty. It's okay. Wow. Okay. So we are back at it with the crappy corner. We asked our patrons, what, what crappy theme should we aim for? <laughs> uh, it was between one-handed yes, yes. gadgets, gadgets you can only use with one hand, uh, game room gadgets, and garage gadgets, and over 50% of the patrons wanted garage gadgets. All right. So we got uh, ourselves some gadgets for the garage. I kind of that's that's a that's kind of a broad topic because you can have a yeah. shop in the garage. You have your car oh. in the garage. Oh, you can roll your Tesla around when it's not working. Exactly. That's what this what gadget a is. Great it's for, thing. It's for when the battery runs out. No, I'm just joking. Um, so this is actually a pretty simple gadget. I have seen versions of this before. Um, but this is, this is, I've never seen this type of this before. What it is, is uh, imagine you're in your shop or in your garage and yep. uh, you've been working for a while and you've been dropping metal stuff on the ground all day. You've been dropping uh, keys, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, you know, pins, nuts, bolts, um, uh, what are those, N nails, all those things. Little brads, yep. Yeah, those are piling up on the ground and you want to pick them all up. Well, who's going to bend down? No, not when gadgets are around. So this is a <laughs> magnet. And the cool thing about this is that it has these nice little wheels so you can easily sort of roll it along the ground. I've seen stuff like this. The ones that um, I actually used in my own like shop class in middle school was it was a round disc and you would you sort of sweep it 
over the area, but it was such a small little disc. I mean, it was probably mm, about that big that you would miss areas all the time. I would have dropped a specific nut that I needed uh, to, to, you know, to work on my project. And I would sit there and sweep forever trying to pick it up and, and it, uh, I could never find it. So this has these nice little wheels. Um, it also has a, here, let me go back to the product shot. It has a uh, little button on the bottom portion. So you can push this button in and then that will allow you to reposition where the, uh, uh, the magnet is. On the other side of the magnet, it kind of has a sticker that shows, hey, it can pick up all these things. Then you can put it down. This is, I just left this on so you could see. This is the packaging that it comes with it. That's all the packaging. And so we should be able to pull that off, maybe. Get off of there, packaging. There we go. Um, the arm is telescoping, so you just unhook it. It says open. Oh, open this way. There we go. So there it goes. Now it's long. And of course we have a few magnetic things. So I have some paper clips. I have a bolt and uh, some other size paper clips. All I have is paper clips. So as it goes over them, sucks them all up. Wow. And I really like the range that this has that uh, I could easily see sweeping the floor with this so much easier. And then all those things are attached on the bottom so you can easily just and pick them off and pile them all up so that they're not on the ground in your shop or garage. And that's really basically it. Now, the one downside of this is that it was it's a little bit more expensive than I would have wished. It's not outside the realm of like, it's no June oven, let's be honest. <laughs> but um, it's a little bit more expensive than I, th I think I would have wanted. Okay, 30, 30 bucks. You're not too far off. It was uh, 25, $25. Okay. And then with tax, it ended up being a little bit extra. Okay. Now I got this at Home Depot locally. And so when I searched for it on Amazon, um, it actually did end up being 30 bucks. So it's $28 with free shipping on Amazon, same product. But if you have a Home Depot near you, and I bet that Lowe's would have something very similar, then you could head on over there to, to pick it up in person and save a few dollars. Um, but this is it. it. The Empire is the brand um, that I have. Uh, rolling mag Magnetic Sweeper is uh, sort of the description. How strong of a magnet is it? Could you say roll on a beach and pull up a new Rolex? I don't I don't think you could. Well, first off, a Rolex would be made out of gold, and that's not how magnets work. Um, you'd, you'd, you'd find a fake Rolex uh, by doing it that way. Um, uh, Let I'm, me ask you, you having a magnetic personality, <laughs> does it tend? Yeah, you see, that's the problem. Oh, I gotta get you it see, off there. I, uh, that's, what I, that's why I said you have to be careful. I mean... You know, we can kind of do some experiments to show up. I mean, it's... You know, the it, problem is, Chad, you're not picking the things up in the right order. Look at the picture on the bottom of that. Oh, you, I need you to should start be, with you paper should clips. Be, yeah, you should, <laughs> the clip should be on that side. Uh, and the over nuts here. Of, yeah. And then, okay, yeah. so one second. So that makes it a little bit hard. There. there you go. Now you got it. Go. That makes it a little hard. Paper clips over there. <laughs> ah, much better. Um, I, I think it's pretty... It's strong enough for, for what you needed. I mean, I can tell that it's, it's picking up these... Um, way before it gets right over it, you know, is it's kind of snapping in to those before. Yeah, it, no, no, it looks good. It's definitely powerful enough um, for yeah. the use of it. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm really happy with it. I like it. I like it. I mean, before the end of the show, someone in the chat room will find it for three dollars. <laughs> exactly. But that's what we uh, need. <laughs> um, and then I also like that you know this is a gadget that you'd only pull out every once in a while. So I, I actually really do like that the Handle can can be uh, made small. It has a little clip at the back so you could hang it on a wall, that sort of thing. Um, so it's not taking up tons of room all the time, which is kind of nice. So there you go. That's, uh, that's my first crappy corner gadget. So we're going to be doing some garage gadgets all month long. With that, okay. let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. <laughs> They're geeky 
and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play in Dick's Gadget Warehouse. On. On. Now, this gadget came, I believe you sent it to me. So this goes back to CES 2013. This was a big talk of the show. Remember Tether Cell. Tether Cell. Okay, I now mean, it took yeah. a little more than a year <laughs> to get a working product sample, which we got. Yeah, And then here is Chad a little more than five years ago talking about this gadget. Here we and go. then we'll tell you Tether where it is cell today. Is a Bluetooth – well, here. We'll get into what it all it does. Oh. But, <laughs> and and uh, uh, check it out. Uh, and this is from Brian. Uh, and uh, he, he sent this over. So this is what it is. It's the TerraCell. It's a Tether battery, cell. Tether cell. and this was an Indiegogo project. So if you back to the project, um, you you got this. <laughs> we have the widest well, you know shot. Chad, for the I'll, I'll just tell you a quickie thing. <laughs> I think the last show I did with Leo, you I guys... said for the Gadget Warehouse, I said, "Where is this?" Right. I saw it a year ago, and I've not heard a word since. You even have a blog post up on Gizwiz.biz. Uh, coming summer 2013 to a device near you, a remote control double A battery. Yes, and it I shows can't. it. Absolutely. So it's shipped. Uh, thanks so much oh, to Brian God. for sending it over to, to me. Uh, and you open it up, and, you, and it's very, very simple. Inside, you get a battery. Just a, uh, this, they just gave you a battery to work with. This is just an Amazon Basics AAA battery. And you also get. The te- I keep calling it the TerraCell. It's actually called the Tether Cell. I don't know why tether, I keep yes. calling it tether, the TerraCell. It, it, because it's hard to say Tether, tether cell. cell. And so this little My hair was so weird back is then. what you put <laughs> your battery into. And basically underneath this plastic covering, there is enough gadgetry to create a Bluetooth signal. And then you take your AAA battery and put it in. And now it's the size of a double-A battery. Now, over on your smartphone, you go ahead and open up the TerraCell, Tether Cell. I don't know why I want to call it It's very TerraCell. hard. And uh, you pair to it. Now, the app is probably the biggest disappointment so far. Um, is The app is a little bit buggy, and the app, it... Um, that Nexus 5. It doesn't oh, quite... Man understand like I, i've i've refreshed the bluetooth and it seems to find a bunch of tether cells this is it says new tether it's hard to see because it's so pixelated but these first two say new tether cell as if it's just finding any bluetooth device happens oh, to be just... another tether cell so this oh, is the one okay. uh that uh we just uh you know put the battery in so it's going to connect okay. and now it's connected so to show this off i have a flashlight and I was afraid that this would be a really difficult demo because the flashlight is made fully out of metal. We have this metal sort of military-grade flashlight uh, to see if this would work. And I was afraid that the Bluetooth signal wouldn't get outside of it. But it actually ends up doing pretty well. Uh, and it also tells you the amount of battery power you have left. Oh, unfortunately, the Tether Cell app has stopped. Like I said, the app so far <laughs> is the biggest disappointment. But they may update this in the future so it'll scan for my tether cell and it didn't find mine i right before it uh it did that i so basically you could turn on and off appliances in other people's homes (laughs) right if (laughs) if not your own if you have the if you have another one i had a triple a battery around here somewhere but i think it may have ran off um, if Josh or someone could get me a AAA battery, did I drop it? <coughs> anyway, um, uh, it tells you the, it tells you a few bits of information. One, you know, which, which tether cell you have, and then also, uh, how much battery power is left in your current tether cell. And that's why I'm, I'm asking for a new battery is because it said that it was really, really low, uh, right before, 
uh, uh, the app crashed. So I'm thinking. No, I that- think that was performance level of the MC. <laughs> right. <laughs> Perhaps it was it really, really, really low. low. So now that we have gotten a new battery, we can go ahead and refresh. And there it goes. It sees it. So we'll connect to it. There we go. See, there's this little green thing that I thought was battery power, but we just put a new thing in it and it's, it's not still doing It's showing it not up. Right. So you can see that, the, that this is turned on, this, this flashlight, and the moment that I tap it over here, it turns oh. off. And so now you have a remote control battery. Now, this might seem simple in, in just, you know, execution, but... This could be used inside of a gaming controller to make sure to turn off the gaming controller at a certain time. You could or if use your kids are driving you crazy with the monkey with the symbol. Right. Oh my gosh. You could say, oh kids, I think the battery's gonna go dead right oh, no. this minute. Right. <laughs> Absolutely, um, and 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 or maybe a baby monitor in a room that that you you don't want to leave on all the time. You can now quickly turn it on. Now, the, and like I said, not a huge fan of the app because there isn't some some pretty basic things built in. You don't have any scheduling capabilities at the moment. At least the Android app may be different on the iPhone or iPad. Um, but I haven't found a way to tether or to schedule, and uh, it, it just seems very buggy and crashy. Right now, it cannot find this current tether cell. I keep trying to refresh and trying to get this tether cell oh, to that's work. that's too bad. Right. And you, I, I, but and they, they, it's, it's so funny that, that they got the hard part done. They got the hard part. They got the, the thing that looks like a battery that you can put a AAA battery into, and it works just fine. And it may be that this... Metal enclosure for the for uh, on the on the bat on the flashlight that I'm using is just too difficult to to break through uh, the Bluetooth. I assume that it's Bluetooth four because I didn't really even have to pair much. The do the things that you do get with this are uh, the ability to edit the name and the picture. So if you have multiple, you could say take a photo of the thing that this battery is in so you know which one it is. Um, You can also uh, add a pin code. So if you wanted to turn off the device, your kids kids couldn't just get onto the app and then disable it as well. You can disconnect or forget the uh, tether cell entirely. Uh, But that is the tether cell. Uh, and it, it's it's out now. Now, the thing that I don't know is if you can buy it currently because the Indiegogo has finished. Here you know go. what? It, I think you can pre-order. $84,000! Way more oh than gosh. what they said. I think it's $39 yeah. and for some stupid reason, $10 to ship it. I mean, it's a double-A <laughs> battery. Yeah. How could it be... Ten dollars to ship it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, thirty-five bucks and ten dollars shipping, right? Yeah. Let me see if there's a uh, if there's a shipping. Hey, area. Chad, what, what's what, what's their web address up there? Oh my gosh! Oh, it's so nitty bitty. Can you see it? Because I went to tethercell.com and it's it's been sold to somebody else. Oh, it was, that's Shopify right there. That's not even. Oh, okay. Their okay. thing. Um. Anyway, I think that was a pretty dud. <laughs> also, yeah. I'm well, well, I went cringy to so much at my old host capabilities. I'm like, <laughs> Chad, get to the point. Get to the point. What does it do? Tell me what it does. Oh my god. Well, the thing is, <clears throat> you sent me yours because I have a mirrored ball, a <laughs> tiny little mirrored ball that's motor driven by uh, three double A batteries, but oh. it's up on the ceiling. Oh, do, well, does it work? Has it been? No, good? it kept losing it. It kept uh, the first time I put it in, I said, "Oh, this is amazing!" Finally, and fixed. then it never found it again. Oh my gosh! So, um, and and I I I googled it, and nothing comes up for this. And I went to uh, my old website. Actually, the website from five years ago said their web address is fed. Te- feathercell.com <laughs> that's been sold to somebody else it's just now an ad uh, platform oh so gosh. someone should buy this because it's a it's a great idea and work out a work decent out app where you have scheduling and and uh, it's the same page from way back then yeah yeah there it is so 
It's kind of anyway. a cool concept, but definitely not great. I think the concept's execution. great. Yeah. Um, and like yeah. we said in the video, the, the hard part they did. Yeah. They figured it out. They got the prototyping done. They just needed to ship a good product. Um, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, that was a tether, tether cell. That tether is cell. five years old. Holy moly. Um, I you know, feel that's like a great I can thing call about, myself about a, get- veteran, a veteran technology reporter when technology that I reported on when it came out is now considered, like, old. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, that, that's a riot. Like, that's a riot. Also, like, the, the great thing about being older is I can tell the difference between you five years ago oh, yeah. oh, and you now. 100%. But I defy you to tell the difference between me and me now. The same old beat up face, the same old beat up mustache. So I had nothing to worry about. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, anyway. um, it looks like oh, someone's linking something. Uh, it's a smart battery controller for AA batteries and power devices. This may be the knockoff product we've been seeking. Oh, whoa. It's called Mabby. Oh. Oh, it's still 35 bucks? Yeah. So, yeah, you use a smartphone, the transmission just hops that little dotted line over there, and then it, then you can power AA power devices. Well, at least they changed voice. the name. What is the new name? Oh, my Mobby? God. Mobby? Mobby. <laughs> it looks like they've somehow built into their app that if you tilt your phone, it changes the battery. <laughs> you can shake your phone and it turns on and off the device. That is the worst functionality I've ever heard of. But hey, the customer reviews, the three people who bothered, oh, well, hmm, that's kind of all over the place. Oh, yes. Uh, three uh, stars, yeah. It doesn't fit in most battery slots. So far it works <laughs> as advertised. And uh, good product, just one app flaw. Edit, there's another app. <laughs> oh, there's another app in Japanese that works in perfectly. Japanese, oh, good. oh my God. There's another app in Japanese that works perfectly. I think that's what it said. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's <laughs> the back, the background, I don't know, pretty simple, not too hard to figure out. I guess it's pretty, you know, on and off in uh, Japanese is... Understandable yeah. as long as like maybe a they made a lot of photos. That's hilarious. Uh, anyway, it's, it sounds like it still needs work, but it's not dead yet. Not dead oh, yet. Oh, uh, Bleak said it's a Japanese company. Yeah, maybe Moby. Ma, Moby, Moby. Anyway, uh, there you go. So if you if you badly want a tether cell, there you go. You got an option. Um, with that, let's jump into the ladder. <laughs> Our letter is from Taro, T-A-R-O, Scarper, S-C-A-R-P-A. Uh, subject episode 1712, Missing Acknowledgements. Oh, that was yeah. last week's show. Hey, guys, I love you. I love your work, but oh, my God. 11 minutes and 30 seconds into the last episode at CES, you get photo bombed all over the place, and apparently you are oblivious. We were oblivious. We had no the idea. The great Stacy Higginbottom steps into the same booth as Chad. Seconds later, Father Robert walks in front of Dick D. Bartolo, who's chomping snacks behind Chad, and <laughs> nothing from any of you. <laughs> yeah. We kind of. Uh, all right, so here we are. We're going into. Um, this is last week's show. Yeah, and sure and, enough, uh, very soon Stacy shows up in the background. She's right there, and then she walks across. There, <laughs> she is. Oh, and, but yeah, but you're doing an interview. You yeah, couldn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but I guess I should have noticed it. And then later. I think Dick, you there, you are Dickie there D. I go. I'm walking by eating <laughs> eating food, and then I think and around 14 minutes in in here somewhere, we pan over and there's Stacy again, uh, and then uh, we see Father Robert. <laughs> it is pretty Father- funny. I mean, hey, it's a who's who of fantastic. Uh, there he is. There he is oh, talking there, to you. Oh, there, there, right. <laughs> 
There's Father Robert saying, did you notice that Chad didn't say anything about Stacy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Gosh, I didn't realize I had such a big beef. Uh, uh, but anyway, it's okay. Tara says, I still love you guys. Keep up the good work. So, <laughs> Tara. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. we should, you know, we're, we're looking at the gadgets. That's why you're we're hiring us, right? We're looking at the gadgets. And also, you know, it's very funny because you really get to eat at those events. They have oh great gosh, food. Yeah. But you're running around saying hello to dozens of people that you know, and you're trying to find, you know, we don't, when we go in that room, that's the first time we see any of those gadgets. So you're running around trying to find enough gadgets to video. Um, and so what I do, I go in and I eat desserts first. Oh, yeah. Because I, I love desserts. You need desserts. that sugar rush to get you and, through. Yes. And, and they are the first to go. If you wait till... <laughs> the the events are like six to nine or six to ten. Yeah. If you wait till the last hour, desserts are gone. Yep. Oh yeah. That's so funny. Anyway. Uh, cool. Thank you so much for pointing that out and, and keeping us honest about who's photobombing our videos. Um, love it. Oh, we should remind people we can still use some more videos. Okay, Absolutely. we have a couple of videos from people who have sent in before, but we'd love to have a video from new somebody new anything anything about a gadget new old beat up you hate it you love it uh just make a two to three minute video put it on youtube drop down menu there you can click unlisted if you only want people with the url to see it send us that url and you will get uh if you live in the u.s a copy of mad magazine whatever the latest issue is and a now 38-year-old Alfred E. Newman photo autographed to you. Um, and if you live outside of the U.S., I will sign a photo to your name, do a high scan, uh, a high res scan, send it to you, print it out. No one will know the difference. We've done that four or five times now, and people said, hey, this is great. I put it on the wall. No one realizes it's not the original. Uh, so mail at gizwiz.tv. Get us your video, please. Woohoo! And of <laughs> course, the chat room has done it. They have found a cheaper version of the crappy corner. This one is uh, from Harbor Freight. Uh, there's a few. I'm oh, Harbor, Harbor Freight. Freight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And there's exactly what oh I showed off. Oh my gosh! Ten bucks. Chad. <laughs> there you go. I should you know, have known. It is amazing, isn't it? Over in the corner there, it's thirty-seven dollars. Oh, whoa! You get, that that one's like five feet long. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, and okay. then you have yeah. oh, that one's like a yeah. That one looks like it has a vacuum cleaner built into it. What is that? <laughs> I don't know. It'll like um, the, wow! Oh, the, 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 it can pick up all of Home Depot in one sweep. That's crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, that's for. Industrial. Purposes. That's for someone who's really careless. Yeah, <laughs> really, really. That's like, for someone who has like ten thousand nuts and bolts <laughs> and no cabinets. It's a, it's someone who shakes a lot and works with nuts yeah. and bolts all the time. <laughs> um, that is hilarious. Thank you so much. Who sent that over, Dave Davy? Uh, that's awesome. Hey, I want to give a big old thank you to our patrons over at patreoncom gizwiz. We are a fan-funded show, so if you love the show, please on head over, please head on on wow, please head on over to patreoncom gizwiz. That's where you can support the show. And seriously, small, we do not need huge, um, huge endorsements. We just need small little donations. It would be fantastic if you've ever gotten something from the show. If you enjoy watching, please consider supporting over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Uh, if you don't want to give a reoccurring payment, which is kind of what Patreon's all about, head on over to gizwiz.tv, click on the Patreon tab, and there's a PayPal link there uh, so you could give one time. Thank you, everybody. Everybody who has ever donated, thank you so much. To our current patrons, thank you so, so, so much for supporting the show. We really, really owe it to you guys. Uh, you guys make the show happen, so thank you so much for your generosity. Uh, while you're over at gizwiz.tv, because I know all of you are heading there right now to donate, <laughs> uh, you can also catch the show live, if we're live. We're live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. And if you don't catch it live, don't worry. We have it there on the site for you or on iTunes or whatever podcatcher that you use. 
and also on YouTube if you want to catch the video version. Head on over to gizwiz.biz as well. There you can play What the Heck Is It? Uh, it is the game show online that you, you can play with real paper prizes. That's right. This is the gadget, the whole gadget, nothing but the gadget. Ooh, that's the Ma Mad Magazine cover that we're, uh, that you too could own if you get a plan over at gizwiz.biz. Uh, this gadget, it's uh, obvious. Um, uh, th this is a chiminea for ants. <laughs> um, for you know, your little backyard I like it. I patio like it. party. Uh, if you think you know what this is, get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz. Six mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mad magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, or interesting answers. And this is, this is the, where is Alfred? Is he, is that him? Or is that Yes, him? he's there. Uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's him. Oh, he's all Actually, there's, there, he's there several times. He's there several times. Oh, there you go. A little, it's like a Qbert inspired, uh, I think, unless it's, yeah, it's like, other... yeah, it's like a throwback to, yeah. I like it. Illusions. So get a guessing over at gizwiz.biz. That about wraps it up for our show, I do believe. Um, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys later. I'll be here.